If you want to record higher quality videos than gym class, this video is going to break down exactly how you do that and you only need three things, a phone, a headset, and a computer. Let's do it. The very first step of this tutorial is to install a program called SideQuest. It's super easy. Go to Google and type in SideQuest. It's going to be the very first option that comes up. Once you're on the site, head over to the left side to where you see Get SideQuest. After you hit that, you'll have three options. Mac, Windows, and Linux. Choose whichever computer you have. I have a Mac computer, so in this section, I'm going to press Mac. And now I'm finishing the installation process. Once you have SideQuest fully downloaded and installed, it'll look like this. To truly begin this tutorial, we're going to head over to the top right corner and click this little box that's called Run ABD Commands. We're then going to click Manage. Now you'll add what's called a command. In order to do that, you're going to click Add New. For the name, I want you to put TikTok1 and add the command. The command for this is in the description of this video. Go ahead and copy and paste this command into this section. Then press the plus button. Then you're going to do this one more time, but this time set the title to TikTok2. Add the second command, which can also be found in the description of this video, and then press the plus button one more time. If you scroll down, you should see both of them now at the bottom. Go ahead and hit save once you see that. And now it's time for you to connect your Oculus headset. But in order to do that, you first have to set it to what's called developer mode. So for this part of the tutorial, we're actually going to move off of SideQuest and I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of how to set your headset to developer mode so you can finish out this tutorial. To do this, first you need to go to developers.meta.com slash horizon. The link to this will be in the description. Here, you're going to sign into your Meta account that you use in your headset. Once you're in, go to the top right corner where you'll see a section called My Apps. Once you're in My Apps, you're going to look at the top right corner. This is where we're going to create what's called an organization. This is what you need in order to set your headset to developer mode. Go ahead and click Create Organization and it will take you to this page. Once here, Go ahead and type in the name of your organization. It could be anything at all, whatever you want. It honestly does not matter. It is now going to ask that you agree to the terms of service of Meta. Please remember, by doing this, you are doing so by your own choosing. And you acknowledge that anything you agree to is by your own discretion. But once you agree and hit submit, we're now onto the final step. All we need to do now is go into the device and actually turn on developer mode. To do this, go to your Meta app and head to your device. You can get to your devices by clicking the three lines on the right side of the app, scrolling down to where you see Manage My Devices, and then either selecting or adding a new device. Once you select your device, go down to Headset Settings. If it doesn't let you press this option, that's because your headset is either off or asleep. Make sure it's on and active so you can do this. And from there, hit developer mode. Once you hit developer mode, all you have to do is now turn it on. We're almost done. We're just on the final few steps. So now we're going to go back into SideQuest. And now we're going to plug our headset into our computer. Right now, it says not detected. But once you plug it up, it will say unauthorized allow in headset. In order to do that, all you have to do is put your headset on. And the moment you have your headset on, you will see a pop up that says allow. Now head back to SideQuest and you should see a green dot with whatever type of headset you have. From there, go back to the right side, hit the run ABD commands again, but this time hit custom command. All you need to do here is click the two options that we created. The first one is TikTok 1. Hit TikTok 1, then hit run command. And do the same for TikTok 2. Hit TikTok 2, then hit run command. To finish this off, we're now gonna go to the wrench at the top right corner, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and just double check to make sure that our settings are at their highest possible quality. Make sure you're recording in the 1600 by 1600 aspect ratio, which is also known as square. Then go further down and make sure you're shooting in 60 frames per second. And finally, for the bit rate, make sure that's set to 20. That's a very important one. 
and with all of those options you're officially done in headset but if you want that extra little boost of quality then take your footage and bring it over to CapCut. Select the footage you want to edit, go to the right side and scroll all the way down until you see motion blur. Check the box of motion blur and set each one to 30. Now, this is a good base, but really you wanna change this depending on what looks good for your clip. What I would say though, is to keep them around the same. And finally, you now also added a smooth looking motion blur to all of your footage. And with that, you are officially good to start posting.